everybody. So this is Joe Beck with another episode of the Waterbox 30.2 Marine All-in-One Build. And today I want to show you the Cobalt Aquatics 150 watt Neotherm Heater. This thing has a three year warranty. Um, it's actually made for freshwater, marine, reef, and uh, a terrarium. So if you have a tortoise or some sort of animal that you keep in a terrarium, you can actually use this. Um, this is made in Poland and uh, you know, my family is Polish. My cat always loves to be up here. This one's Merlin. It's usually Pearl, but he's being super friendly today. So this is 150 watts. It's got an LED indicator. They're claiming that it is unbreakable and I'm not going to try to test that out. The th thermometer ranges from 66 to 96 degrees Fahrenheit. It's only a third of an inch thick and it is fully electronic. As far as the back of this box go, basically tells you everything we just read, fully electronic. It's easy to set, one touch system. Computer tested, it's accurate within plus or minus 0.5 degrees Fahrenheit. It includes a reversible mounting bracket with suction cups. It's got that shatterproof casing and it's modern and super flat so i chose this heater because of the fact that the more space i can get in my back sump the better and uh you know this is only one third of an inch thick so i love it as far as the rating on this this is uh rated up to 40 gallons for the 150 watt so this should be plenty for my system um i wish I would have went maybe with the 200 because I know you kind of want to get a heater that's a little oversized for your aquarium. But as far as like my live or my rock that I'm going to have in there and my sand and my equipment, I'm going to have less than 30 gallons in there. So I'm, I'm sure this is going to be fine. But it comes with your instructions. So that comes with the uh, heater. This is the actual heater itself. So it's super, super thin. I love that. This is actually my third Neotherm heater. Um, the other ones I had was a 50 watt for a 10 gallon. And then I had a 75 watt for a 20 gallon and they work extremely well i know they had some issues in the past but i know that they have resolved that issue um, i think they were just overheating and shutting off and i believe it was just with the higher wattage ones i want to say they were having an issue with the 200 300 and 400 watt ones but uh that is the heater itself and I wanna get my tape measure here so that you can see. Um, I am at the very top of this thing and this is about 11 inches long. And then as far as the width goes from the widest point, you're looking at about two and a quarter inches to two and a half. And then at the lowest point, you're looking at about an inch and seven eighths to two inches. So this is very compact. It would fit really nicely in an all-in-one. Um, it should, yeah, so there's the bracket for it. And then it does come with two suction cups as well. So these suction cups would go on this bracket and uh, this bracket slides on right here. If I can get it. So that bracket slides on like so. And then obviously once you have your suction cups there, you would mount this to one of the chambers that you have in your all-in-one sump. 
So that is your Cobalt Neotherm 150 watt heater. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Leave me a comment. I'll get back with you as soon as I can. But this is what to expect in the Cobalt Neotherm package. Have a great day.